Hi everyone, today I'll be covering Herxheim reactions, and unfortunately they tend to be oversimplified. So for those who don't know, who aren't familiar with the term, Herxheimer is characterized by a worsening of the underlying symptoms of certain infections when you start treating them. And this is seen with spirochetal infections. Spirochetes are a type of bacteria that cause things like syphilis, Lyme disease, relapsing fever, leptospirosis, and a number of others. And Herxheimer's can also be seen with other non-spirochetal infections like Brucella and Bartonella, and also some more uncommon ones like Q fever caused by Coxiella and tularemia. So the thing that we should know about Herxheimer's that differentiate between things like syphilis Herxheimer's and Lyme Herxheimer's is that the stereotype of syphilis Herxheimer's is that they happen one time, they're very severe, and people get through them and then they don't happen again. With Lyme, it's been published that Herxheimer's can happen over and over again because Lyme is harder to eradicate than syphilis is and can set up chronic infection in people. My take-home message for today is to help differentiate the short Herxheimer's that go away relatively quickly versus the Herxheimer's that go on and on and on and don't result in people getting better because they're actually different mechanisms. So as many of you know, I had Lyme in med school and I got a disabling case of Bartonella in 2010. And my situation with Lyme is that it was characterized by the perfect Herxheimer's everybody wants. These two to three day long Herxheimer's, then I felt great. And unfortunately, when I went off antibiotics, the illness would creep back over a number of months and I had to be retreated. And this went on for years until I finally you know, found doctors to really help and um, got much better. But with Bartonella, it was a different story. I would get antibiotics and I would flare up and my knees would go up the size of cantaloupes and I'd get high fevers and drenching sweats and anemia and everything else, go to the doctors and say, congratulations, I have an Herxheimer, continue, and you'll get over it. And two months later, same thing, same story, I'm not feeling well, congratulations, this is a good thing. By the fourth month, I'd put my foot down and say, look, I'm not taking this medicine anymore. It's not helping me. But if it was up to the doctors that I saw, they would have had me continue on the very same medicine. So these protracted flares are actually a different mechanism. They're really not Herxheimer's. I'll be talking about them in the next video.